Greetings ghosties, welcome to tonight's video where we're going to be playing the hosting game. I'm so excited because I played it before and um, <laughs> I didn't last very long. I got super scared while playing it. I heard some things in the room behind me and that was it. I was done, I ended the game, but hopefully tonight will last a little bit longer and I wanna play it tonight because remember the video that I made maybe like two, three weeks ago telling you guys about how I've been having some weird experiences. Um, if you haven't seen it, I will put a card up here so you guys can check that video out and see what kind of experiences I've been having. Um, but the short end of it is I've just been seeing some things out of the corner of my eye. It was like shadows or figures, really quick moving. When I would look, they'd be gone. So I don't know if it's ghosts. I don't know if something's wrong with my eyes. I don't know if it's my mind playing tricks on me, but it's been freaking me out. And if it is ghosts, I thought we could play the hosting game to try and summon these spirits and maybe talk to them or catch some evidence. I don't know. But I'm gonna put the brakes on because before we go any further, I'm happy to tell you guys that this video is in collaboration with my friends Joey and Kyla. They are gonna be playing the hosting game as well. Now, all three of us decided to play the hosting game because we've been having some weird experiences in our houses and in our lives. You already know what I've been experiencing, so I'm gonna let them explain to you what they've been experiencing and why they're gonna play the hosting game. Hi everyone, I'm Joey from Joey Adventures. I am a paranormal investigator and I am excited to collaborate with Michael Scott and Kyla Rebecca. It is so exciting to play this paranormal game called The Host. First of all, I wanna thank Michael and Kyla for doing a collab with me. I am going to play the host at my sister's 100 year old haunted house. I have been doing a series on this house for, for several months now, and I hope you will follow my journey and see how it goes. Bye. Hey guys, my name's Kyla, and I'm playing the hosting game over on my channel with Joey and Michael because I've had some strange things happen in my house, and I also discovered a couple months after purchasing it that someone has passed away in here, and I do think that whoever it is has been making themselves known. Something actually happened in here last night, so we're gonna be playing the hosting game tonight, and I'm hoping that we can get some evidence of that on camera, but thank you so much to Joey and Michael for doing this collab with me and for letting me like intrude myself in the middle of your videos. I'm super excited and hopeful that we will all get something spooky. So come on over to my channel after you watch their videos if you guys would like to see if anything happens. I'm a little bit nervous, kind of freaking out, but I'm ready. I am super excited to see both of their videos and see what kind of evidence they come up with. You guys, please go check out their channels. I will leave the links in the description down below to Kyla's channel and to Joey's channel. So make sure to check them both out, subscribe. They both do really great creepy content. So you're gonna enjoy their channel. Now the hosting game. For those of you who don't know what it is or have never heard of it before, it is a paranormal game or a ritual that's supposed to summon spirits. More specifically, it's supposed to conjure three spirits within whatever room you designate as the hosting room. Like I said, I wanna conjure these spirits into my hosting room because something strange has been going on and maybe we can get to the bottom of it. Since I've done a video on this before, I'm not gonna go real in depth into the directions. I'm just gonna go over them really briefly for those of you who aren't familiar and then we'll start playing the game. Well, as soon as it gets dark, it's still light out. I gotta wait till it gets dark out. Now, if anybody has come over from Kyla or Joey's channel or you just don't wanna hear the directions, I'll leave a timestamp so that you guys can skip right to the game and not have to listen to all the directions. But if you want to hear the directions, I'll give them to you now. Step number one is to turn off all the lights and anything that could make noise in your home. So TV, phone, etc. Turn it all off. Step number two is once it's dark out, turn off all the lights in the house except for the light in the hosting room. For step number three, you're gonna start at the furthest point or the furthest room from the hosting room and you're going to say out loud, I will be ready soon. You're gonna say that in every room, making your way back to the hosting room. And this is to let the spirits know that the ritual is going to begin soon and it's kind of like prepping them to come into the hosting room. Step number four, when you get to the hosting room, you're gonna have a piece of paper and on it, you're going to write, you are invited to a gathering hosted by, 
me. It takes place at, and then I'll write the time. Bring your friends. And then you place that sheet of paper in the middle of the hosting room. Step number five, I'm gonna stand in the doorway of the hosting room, facing into the hosting room. And I'm gonna say, I am ready, you may come in. This is the step where you're inviting whatever spirits that are around to come into your hosting room. Step number six, you're gonna turn off the light, walk out of the room, and keep your back faced to the door. Step number seven, you're gonna take out three matches. You're gonna to count to 10, and then you're gonna light the first match. If the match lights, you're gonna say, I'm glad to see you, thank you for coming, and then you're gonna move on to the next match. You're gonna do that for the first match, the second match, and the third match, but the third match is a little different because supposedly if you strike the third match and it doesn't light right away, you're supposed to end the game immediately because something bad could happen. I'm not gonna do that. Even if the third match doesn't light, I'm still gonna play anyway because we're just gonna go for it. So the final step is lighting that third match. Once that match is lit, that is kind of the beginning or the cue for the spirits to start talking. And at this time, you should start to hear voices and whispering coming from inside the hosting room. But no matter what, you're not supposed to turn around and look inside the room, which is going to be the hardest part. It was the hardest part last time I played because if you're hearing stuff coming from behind you, the first thing you want to do is turn around and see what the heck is going on behind you. Like I said, last time I played, I didn't get very far into the game. Once I lit the third match, I was listening. I started to hear noises coming from the room and um, that was it, I was done. I was too much of a chicken to go on. This time I'm gonna suck it up. I'm gonna be braver. I'm gonna try to sit there for longer and listen, see if we can hear anything. I'm gonna try asking some questions even, see if we get any responses. So now we just have to wait for it to get dark. I'll see you soon. I'm back and it is dark out as you can see behind me. I think I have everything ready. I'm gonna use my office, this room, as the hosting room. It's kind of the creepy room. It's got Chucky, Annabelle in here. It's got all my like haunted stuff too. So it just makes sense to have this be the hosting room. So uh, I have already turned off everything in the house that could make noise. That was step number one. Step number two, I have to go to the furthest room now, turn off the lights, turn off all the lights in each room. And as I do, I have to say, I will be ready soon. This is kind of the point in the game where I start to get a little nervous and scared because I have to turn off all the lights and um, I don't like being in the dark. Also, if you didn't see the video, this hallway here is where I saw a shadow figure come out from the bathroom, walk straight through the hall and into the wall and like disappeared. Um, if you didn't see that video, I'll put a card up above so you can check that out, but it was creepy. I will be ready soon. Just have to do the hallway. The upstairs. This guest bedroom has always creeped me out for some reason, especially the closet. It's open. That's a no no. I don't like that. I will be ready soon. The last light is here in the hallway. I will be ready soon. I have my matches and the paper. I need to write the phrase on the paper. I'm gonna get out my three matches. One, two, three. this in the middle of the room, come
come to the doorway, say what I gotta say, turn off the light, and then we'll switch to the night vision camera. Where's that? It's right in the middle of the room. There it is. Turn off the light on my camera. This is the scary part. I'm ready. You may come in. Oh my god, the fucking firework went off just as I fucking said that and now I'm terrified. Okay, even though even though the fireworks scared me and now I am terrified. I'm in the dark. I have the last thing that we have to do, which is light the candles or light the matches. The hosting room is behind me. I'm not allowed to look in there. I'm going to count to 10 and then start lighting these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that one did not light. I'm glad to see you. Thank you for coming. Okay, one more. I'm glad to see you. Thank you for coming. Now is the time where we just listen. If we're gonna hear something, oh, I'm not supposed to look. It's gonna come from behind us. Is there a presence in my hosting room. I heard like a faint tap or knock. I can't look. I keep wanting to look. Can you say hello? The weird thing right now is that I hear something downstairs. someone here with me. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see in there. Um, 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 um. I don't hear any whispering right now. I did hear like the tamp before, but that was it. Can you make yourself known? Can you tell me your name?
like I'm getting the goosebumps. I don't think you can tell. I know that you're not supposed to do this and it's not part of the game. But I'm gonna go into the hosting room. Maybe if I'm in there I can hear something. back on my regular camera and just kind of tell you what um a little like I don't know what to think right now so I didn't hear any whispering I don't know if I caught anything like an EVP on the camera but with my own ears I didn't hear any whispering or any talking I did hear a couple times um like a couple taps and knocks I don't know I'd be interested to go back and like review the footage all right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed playing the hosting game with me. Thank you again to Kyla and Joey for doing this collab with me. You guys, don't forget to go check out their channels and see what happened when they played the game. I'll leave the links down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a like. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.